Well, I think uh, all of us uh, here in China is very excited because we have three astronauts in orbit for a long period of time. Uh, Liu Yang, the lady who was speaking, uh, was the first lady in space from right. China. Uh, and also we had a, a complete T-shaped uh, station that makes uh, into a three-bedroom uh, uh, a space station. So uh, everybody is very excited because the, the Wen Tian is for uh, biological testing and the Meng Tian is more for material science. Uh, so, uh, and also they have an exposed uh, segment of the station. So it is very much a new era for the Chinese space community to get ready for uh, a more exciting testing uh, on, uh, on this test bench. Uh, fill us in. Well, yes, the, the Wintian segment, which was launched a couple of months ago, uh, was for biological testings. Uh, they also have these space seeding programs. Uh, uh, they put uh, the wheat uh, into uh, space and cultivate them for one complete uh, cycle so that those uh, harvested seeds will be bringing back to Earth for more cultivation. This is very helpful for agriculture purpose. And the Mengtian, which uh, was recently launched, uh, is for material science, this uh, including a combustion chamber, a, a, that for uh, combustion testings uh, uh, for uh, uh, different uh, science purpose. And also we have uh, on the Meng Tian segment, uh, uh, cryogenic uh, testing uh, for uh, materials. And the Meng Tian also have a very special feature, which is uh, what we call it the robotic airlock. And uh, this robotic airlock will allow the uh, astronauts to bring uh, payloads out of the station, for example, deployment of uh, satellite, um, uh, without going EVA. So that uh, airlock will robotically deploy the satellites and other payloads into space.